Hey guys, we're gonna decode the um, slow scan TV picture from the SST, the ISS, the International Space Station. Having a, having a great pass at uh, 1 50 p.m. here using Yezu FT65 to receive just with the rubber duck. And uh, on the PC, I will be using MMSSTV for the decode. So, what I'm gonna do is bring this up. And I don't know if I can minimize this one. I can't. So this is going to be the window for the decode. And 145-800 is the frequency they're using. So I'm going to wait until the pass is a little higher. And uh, hopefully it's going to work. I can get away from the computer. I actually decided to use this microphone to uh, record the audio. So. I can move away from the computer for less interference, and um, you can also you can also do you can also do this with um, with um, wow cats are really going at it. So you can do this also with um, the uh, a tablet robot thirty six. Um, there's also on iPhone a uh, app called. Um, uh, from Black Cat system for SSTV to code. Mode is Papa Delta 120, PED 120. So waiting for the signal to acquire. I'm putting it a little up because sometimes there's Doppler shift. So uh, we're going to check that out. And waiting for. Oh, there it is. This one is very noisy. So we get the end of this picture, which is actually good because now there's going to be like a 90 second pause. And when it comes back, it's going to be higher. So technically I should have a much better decode um, as it was slowly. So this is tell telling me the series of the picture. I uh, hope you guys see it well. I'm outside and it's a little bright, so the laptop screen isn't maybe that visible. It seems okay when I look at the phone. So if we look at its positioning, it's really coming close. This is a 75 degree high pass over Montreal here. So this is going to be really, really cool. This software, by the way, is Orbitron. It's an old software, but it still works even on Windows 11. Uh, pretty cool piece of software to to, to um, track satellites, all sorts of satellites, including amateur radio and space station. So let's go back to the uh, SSTV here, and uh, technically, uh, this is going to uh, be interesting to watch. So now we're going to put it back at auto, and um, I'll put the uh, bigger screen here. And uh, we'll be checking out, trying to get the best decode possible as soon as the signal starts. Uh, once again, I'm only using portable. You can use a portable scanner, works fine with the rubber duck. Uh, as long as you, you know, take the frequency of 1545800 and you can, you know, play around, move around if you don't hear it. Uh, going outside is going to definitely be a better signal. So if you can go outside to do, to do that. So slow scan TV pictures are sent until tomorrow afternoon, uh, 14th of October. Then it will be stopping for a little while. Waiting for the signal to acquire. And hopefully a beautiful decode of a picture from the...
and there we go we've got a picture I'm a little noisy at time so I was moving around uh, but for uh, the code with a little portable transceiver uh, this is the Yesu at 65 pretty nice the code we can consider um, you know no external antenna no uh, nothing to really go and get the maximum signal so full picture to code this one is uh, the uh, 512 so there must be 12 pictures are being sending out so we're going to check with Orbitron and see where it is so it's now in the ocean um, I would guess that maybe we'll have in about 90 seconds a part of a picture but I don't think we're gonna have a full picture uh, when you look at this so uh, definitely uh, this is going to be um, the uh, probably the last real big picture what's nice sometimes is you get a pass where the picture starts really at the beginning of the pass and if you have a good pass sometimes you're able to actually fetch two pictures but uh, most of the time you'll get one and maybe half or three quarters or a quarter of another one or depending on the setup also so let's go back to MMSS TV and see if we'll decode anything else as the uh, we're waiting for the uh, slow scan to start again it's a cold day today about 50 Fahrenheit maybe not even So we're going to get a new picture. Here's the suspense of waiting for the transmission to start. I should technically be receiving even if it's slow. It seems I'm not hearing much. I'll still wait a little bit. The pass must be very low now at this time, so it's possible I'd be missing out on on another picture sent. Something like 90 seconds pause or two minute pause, something like that, between each picture. I wish a pause would be a little shorter, like, you know, 30 seconds, but I guess maybe they're giving time for the transmitter to cool off a little bit. So I guess that was the only one. I don't seem to be receiving the... Uh, the signal now so uh, that was the picture so there is a last pass at around 3 th 320 something like that I will be trying that one out um, it's a much lower pass but who knows um, same setup I'll be checking out to uh, receive the uh, picture if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching